Before continuing to our Laravel project, we have to know about MVC because Laravel follows MVC structure. So what is MVC? M stands for model, V stands for view, and C stands for controller. It means that when a user makes a request, it goes to controller, then from controller it goes to our model which belongs to our database and in there we save data or we fetch data from our database then we send the data to our view and send the view back to the user so this is the flow of MVC where the user makes a request the request goes to controller then controller fetch data from the model or send data to model to save in the database after that it send the data to the view and the view will return to the user this is the flow of mvc in laravel specifically when you are working the most common flows are like this when a user make a request the request goes to the route then from the route that request goes to the controller and from controller it goes to the model which goes to the database to save the data in database or fetch the data from the database then after that we get the view with the data and we send the data back to the user so this is the common laravel flow but there are other flows also this is the beauty of laravel that it gives you a free hand to write your code the way you like it for example let's see this flow where the user makes a request the request goes to the route and from the route directly we fetch the view and send it back to the user and there are another ways also where the user make a request the request goes to the route and from the route it goes to the controller and from controller we directly fetch the view and send it back to the user these are some common flows that we can use in our laravel project it does not mean that you have to also follow the, these flows you can do your own this is the beauty of laravel which allows you to be flexible.